I went and saw Saul Williams, and some of the audience asked Saul Williams um, what his one piece of advice for the youth of today would be, and he was like, do what you love, right? Someone in the audience was like, love don't pay the bills, man. And uh, Saul was like, no, no, love has to pay the bills. Like, there's no other choice. You either do what you love or you do nothing. I love going to concerts. If you want to help the Wow Hall, if your goal is to do something here, or you want to help out, or you want to learn something, the door is always open. We're a volunteer based organization. None of us could do what we're doing without the assistance of a lot of volunteers. We have over 400 active volunteers. Those are volunteers that might work anywhere between one show a year or one show a month to almost every single show we have here. Once a person has gone through the volunteer orientation, they can volunteer at will. So even though they may not have volunteered to show in a couple of years, there's nothing to prevent them from coming in and signing up for a show. I think one thing that's really important about the WOW Hall is because we do our own in-house productions, when you work at the WOW Hall, when you get involved in the WOW Hall, you have the opportunity to work in almost every aspect of the industry. You could have the opportunity to learn booking and learn how to, how to write contracts and deal with bands and negotiate show terms. You have the opportunity to learn sound and lights. It's definitely unique to the WOW Hall that you could apprentice for any position here and learn how to do it and eventually, you know, theoretically take over that position. I mean, I have volunteers that come down here almost every night that there's a show and they just really love being part of what it takes to make shows happen and they're learning skills and they're making friends and they're getting exposed to music they never would have otherwise thought they would have. I mean, most everybody that hangs out at the WOW Hall for long enough their new favorite band is the band that they've never heard of that they just heard last night. So many of the people in this town that do sound now and make a living at it got some of their initial training here. There's no real school nearby that's going to teach yeah. you to be a sound person. Jeez. It's on the job training. We had a guy who, uh, who used to work here when the stage was where I'm sitting and uh, he was, he's now Mason Jennings sound guy. You start off as a volunteer and then a volunteer can um, become a member. Once you're a member, it makes you like a partial owner of the WOW Hall. You vote or even run for the board of directors. You get to come to the annual membership party for free, and you get the WOW Hall notes sent to your home every month. We have a long tradition of letting people come in. First, they learn how to work the light, the light board, then they learn how to work the monitors, and then when they feel ready, we let them run the front of the house. We also encourage community involvement, to, so if you like ha have a big interest in techno music, you can come work with us and help us throw techno shows. If you have an interest in hip hop music, you can help bring hip hop artists of your, of your choice here by just helping us um, you know, work with that artist. The thing that I enjoy the most is when we have the type of shows that bring in the whole range of people. We have the best acoustics out of any venue in town by far. Um, we have the best dance floor. We've got an all-ages family feel here. Our volunteer program really sets us apart. You know, if you can't afford to see a show, you can volunteer to see the show for free. That way anybody can become a member of the WOW Hall, whether they have money or not. During the good times, we don't really make that much more money. <laughs> Even when we have like a huge successful show, we still don't make nearly as much as like what a for-profit would make on a show like that. Everybody is really passionate about the WOW Hall. I mean, once you start getting involved with the WOW Hall, you will fall in love with it. It's not just where people are going out for the night. It's something that can, people can become a part of. You can feel that you are part of the ownership of this building when you become a member or a volunteer. You don't work here to make money. The only thing that you're doing when you're working at the WOW Hall is you're trying to put on a good show.